Flashing patrol lights are as common as deer along warm springs and Highway 21 these days because state and local enforcement officers have teamed up to reduce collisions between drivers and deer. This time of year when there's this many animals down, it's almost a daily occurrence. Sometimes they may nick them and it doesn't really damage the car much and the, the deer may not be hurt bad, but uh, probably every day. Unfortunately, most deer don't survive after they are hit by a car. Fish and game officers have hauled away 85 dead deer and one elk since September, but many more wounded deer limp off into the surrounding hillsides to die. Officers say a driver's speed is the biggest factor in accidents along this road. They're going right through a gauntlet, you know, both directions in the morning and the evening, the worst times of the day for animals to be moving. People driving too fast are the officer's primary target. We're using radar to identify folks that are driving too fast, and then we're, we're just trying to use this as an educational uh, opportunity, not a, not a ticket writing exercise, but just a, uh, an opportunity to warn people about you know, the, the dangers of driving through this stretch and, uh, and the speed. When drivers are pulled over, deputies warn them to slow down. I'm glad he pulled me over because I'm embarrassed to say I was going a little too fast. So. <laughs> and it's important to slow down. Then fish and game officers offer tips for driving in deer and elk country. Blow the horn and don't swerve, avoid collisions. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely always getting pulled over helps you slow down. Officers hope the message takes hold and a few more wintering deer and elk make it to spring. It's hard to say what's gonna happen in you know two, three weeks. Um, you know, after somebody gets stopped, if they're just gonna resume the same you know driving habit, but um, just the fact that these, a lot of these folks are seeing dead deer and elk on the road. They know they're here um, and they're, they're aware of the, you know, the p potential for running into one of these critters. For Idaho Fish and Game, I'm Michael Keckler.